Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So good to see you, so good to see you back. Today we have a really cool video for y'all. I went to my local Ollie's recently, just kind of peeking around and seeing what stuff uh, might be, you know, going on in there, what might be available. And I found these Heroclix Hobbit figures. Now, they're only about 99 cents a bag, and I was going to get just a couple, but then I thought... Really good video idea. Let's just get a whole box. And it really didn't cost me that much. There's only about 22 of these in there. I think there was like 23. But uh, I actually opened one to see what was going on. Because it's figures like this that, you know, you see the back. And it's, of course, it's the big ones. You know, you got Bilbo, Gandalf, Thorin. And I'm guessing that's the Pale Orc or uh, Bolg or whatever. I don't remember. I don't think that's the Pale Orc. No, because he has like a sword arm. So I don't even know who this guy is. Uh, so I opened one to see if there's like a hero list, like a character list in there or anything like that. And I got this guy. So this is the first one we, um, technically see. And this is Fimble the Hunter. I have no idea who Fimble the Hunter is. So he's going to go over there for now. Um, I love the Hobbit book. Actually, after getting this, I'm in the middle of rereading it again. I read it a lot during high school. It was one of my favorite books back then. Still one of my favorite books now, honestly. It's kind of like a comfort book. Um, the movies themselves are, they're all right. I don't love them. I don't hate them. There's a lot of things that could have been done better in my opinion, but they're very nostalgic. I got to see all three of them in theaters as they came out with friends and family and, you know, so I have a little bit of a special place in my heart for them. Um, but you know, cold take there's, they're not perfect. Uh, it looks by, it looks like by the box's design, uh, all these characters are probably going to be characters just from the first movie. So you're probably not going to see any smogs. You're not going to see any bards or anything like that or any of the people of Lake Town. You're probably just going to see it's probably going to be Bilbo, Gandalf, the dwarves, and some other random orcs and goblins that they throw in there for funsies. Maybe Elrond, maybe Gollum. I'm hoping we'll, we'll see. I have like I've looked outside of opening one to see what it was. I haven't looked into this set at all. Um, without further ado, though, we are going to shift down here so we can see these guys a little bit better and take a look at their cards. Um, we're gonna get into these. Like I said, I think there's about 20 of these to open. Let's get cracking into these guys. What do you say? Our first open character together is gonna be. Ah, oh, looks like Thorin Oakenshield himself, the king under the mountain. That card is really destroyed, but here he is. Thorin Oakenshield with his elvish sword. Uh, so we get rid of that. Yeah, so I guess this is like a game you play. Oh, that's so... Oof. Must have wear a break of day. That's awesome. Here's some of the other stuff. King of the mountain. <laughs> and, uh, Orc Orcus, the goblin cleaver. That's his sword. That's right. Yeah, fake fan. I know. I'm sorry, uh, but right now I think we're gonna we're gonna put or, we're gonna put Thorn right over here. He can hang out, watch out. Who else we get? Um, I wouldn't mind if we get doubles because we most likely will. I wouldn't mind doubles of Gandalf and Bilbo. Bilbo's actually like my favorite fictional character. Uh, let's see, we get two Thorins. Guys, like this one's still a little messed up, but you know, two Thorins. Throw him over here for now. We, we we got the first. We got the OG. He'll he'll hang out over here. Um, Bilbo is actually my favorite fictional character. Um, I love this book a lot, and especially Book Bilbo is. I, I feel like that's the one fictional character that like that's perfectly me. So let's see what we get now. Oh my god, is this another Fimble? Who the hell? Is, I don't even know who this. Fimble the Hunter. We're not starting off strong. We got two Fimbles and two Thorins. So let's let's. Come on, something new. Let's get something new in here. Let's see what we got. Show me Master... Show me anything. Just open up. Master Baggins. Ooh, we got Gandalf the Grey. Let's get his card out. Gandalf. I'm Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. And he should have his his sword. Wizards. Wow, he's got a lot more in here. Glamoring the foe hammer. Yep, exploit weakness, so... So yeah, it's like a game. These are more like game pieces, but uh, I don't play any of this kind of this game or anything. So these are just kind of cool little pieces that I'll just put in my cabinet. Uh, so we'll put Gandalf right over here. Get get out of here, Fimble. Nobody, you're nobody's favorite Hobbit character, Fimble. So I wonder if it's gonna be like there's two of each in the in the whole box. Let's see what we get. I still have yet to find a Bilbo. Come on. <laughs> 
Oh, it's one of the dwarves. It's Wallen. So yeah, all the dwarves are in here too. Oh boy. There's probably a lot of these to collect. So we'll put Dwalin over here. Dwalin's pretty cool. He was one of the warrior ones. He went to go with the final battle. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We've opened six so far. So we've still got a good amount to go. I want Ori. Ori's Ori's the best dwarf. What do we get? Do we, uh, I think it's another another Gandalf. We got two Gandalfs. Got this again. So we'll put that over here. Yeah, I definitely expected more doubles, but the whole reason I bought these because, you know, they're so cheap. Like, they were 99 cents a figure. You know, I, I knew immediately when I looked at the back, I'm like, they're only showing, like, four. There's definitely more than four in this entire set. So I was like, I'm just going to get the whole box because, you know, dirt cheap. Oh, there's... Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. There's a little pull thing. Oh, we're playing the game different now, boys. Another Gandalf. Three Gandalfs. You see in the card already. I don't want to spend like a minute on each of these and just drag this video out. So let's, I think we got, is this, wait, oh, it's Dwalin again. Hey, there's Dwalin. Y'all love Dwalin. What's Dwalin got back? A razor sharp blade and he's nimble. He's very nimble. I can't wait to see at the end of this, like what we all get all together. Come on, show me Bilbo. Balin was pretty cool too. Balin was a pretty cool dwarf. What do we got? Oh, we got another. Oh, we got another orc. Who's this one? Orc Bowman. I think I went to high school with that guy. Orc Bowman. Yeah. So shoot to kill. What a what a cool dude. So we'll just toss him over there. Is Bilbo the rarest one to get? <laughs> the main character, really the hardest one to get. What's going on here? Who's this now? Oh, we got another, another Thorin. Get these guys. The, the pile starting to overflow over here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put this to use. Uh, I don't know if you guys were able to get your hands on one of the uh, boo buckets during the Halloween uh, months for McDonald's. I think we're gonna throw all the extras. The cards could stay over here, but let's put all our extras. Start throwing them in the boo bucket, right? Make some use of that. There's already too many of them. They're already falling out. You guys are, you are the original. You're, you're sentenced to the boo bucket. For now, though, that'll clear up some space. All right, what do we got going on here? Who's this? What, what? Grim, Grimna, the, oh, we got a goblin. We got a goblin. This guy's actually gonna go on my desk. We love goblins in this house. This dude looks very goblin. So we're gonna, we're, you know what? You, you go amongst the uh, upper, upper echelon of characters. We love goblins in this house. How many of these? Okay, let's take a look at the box. We still got, oh, man, we still got a lot to go. Okay. All right, let's open this one up. Let's see who we got. What do we got, baby? Oh, who are you? Are you another orc? Orc swordsman. I think that's my family lawyer. Orc swordsman. Frenzied rate. Wow, this one's got a lot of... Like, look at, like... <laughs> look at the... Look at this goblin guy. Like, here's the front of his card. So that's that's that. Okay, right? This dude's, like, got a resume on his card compared to the, the goblin, Gr Grimna the Goblin or whatever. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, go over there. Get lost. All right, I got I got high hopes. There's got to be a Bilbo in here. Oh, oh. Yeah! Yeah, boy! We got my boy, Bilbo Baggins. There's a sting. That's, aw, oh, of course, he only has one side of the card. It's Bilbo Baggins. He's not a warrior. He's just in a little journey. Aw, oh, I love it. At least I got one Bilbo. That's awesome. So let's put Bilbo over here next to the guy. Now, he's got to be with Gandalf and uh, Thorin. Because they're all best buddies, so we'll just move them. Let's put Bilbo there and Gandalf there. Yeah, because they're best buddies. Uh, Still only seeing one of the dwarves. Uh, I kind of want to see, like, there was, uh, there was a party of 13, no, 14, because Gandalf was number 14, uh, or no, Bilbo was number 14, technically, Orc Swordsman again, so that he didn't leave the party with an unlucky number on their adventure. So, we got, we got Bilbo, that's really, that's crazy out of all these, it took this long, like, look, these orcs. If I had, like, only seen this box once, and I bought, like, three of these, and all I got were, like, 
these orcs and a goblin and like Dwalin, I would have probably been a little like heartbroken. All right, what do we got going on in here? Who do we got? We got another orc bowman. These things seem like 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 ones like these. These would probably be super useful in a game of like D and D. You know, like this is probably these would be good as like little just set pieces for figures. Honestly, if I ever play a game of uh, physical D and D with friends again, um. I might just use Bilbo. I just make a character that's Bilbo. I don't know. I've been thinking about other characters I'd want to make for a D&D &D campaign. Um, what's your ideal D&D &D character? Uh, let me know in the comments. Who is... Is this Fimble? Fimble the Hunter. He's back again. Uh, let me know your ideal D&D &D character. Uh, I usually like to play as a warrior. I've also played as a rogue and a bard before. But usually I like to be a character that's like, you know... At the front lines with a sword. Uh, let's get a count here. We got one, two, three, four. We got five of these left, and then we have the empty box. So I guess now we can take the empty box and start throwing all the others. Well, let's not throw them in here. Let's just take them out. And so I'll right, we'll take the box. We'll put that over here for now. Get all the other figures. We'll do that. We'll see what we have all at the end of the video. So let's get all those guys over there. One, two, three, four, five. Did I lose one? No, we have five. Okay, sorry. All right, so we're opening another one, and we have another goblin. We like goblins in this house. We are we are quite a home of goblin people. I don't know if there's more of them, or if this is just, like, it. Like, is this just a bad seating rate, that, it, or is there only, like, six figures in here? There's nothing that tells me another Dwalin. There's like nothing in here that tells me anything about the set. I'll have to look it up after the, the video is done. I'm done recording. But uh, I'm really curious. I can't believe out, out of like 20-something figures, one Bilbo Baggins. There's still three, so I might be wrong. But it's just nuts to me that out of all these figures, you only get one of the main character. I keep hitting... Uh-oh. Hit my camera. I'm sorry, I'm too excited. I'm you guys can tell. I just love the Hobbit too much. So what do we got? Is that another another goblin? Okay. So we got the three goblin brothers. Grimna, right? We got Grimna, uh, Bimna, and Shimna, the goblins. Hey! We got one more Bilbo. So out of a box of like 20, I think it was 24. We'll count them up at the end. But out of 20-something figures, only two Bilbo Baggins. That's wild to me. And our last our last figure, you know what? That's pretty funny because I've already lied. There are three Bilbo Baggins figures out of this entire box. My boy. Because we're, we're never doing this again. We're not, we're not, we're not doing a whole nother video of a box. Uh, the one was enough. One was definitely enough. Uh, so... Let's just take, let's take a look at what we all got here today, all right? So we got one Gandalf, we got Bilbo, let's, let's start off, we'll put them at the beginning here. Oop, let me rearrange, there we go, that's a lot better. So we got, we got Goblin, another Goblin, we got Thorin, Dwalin, okay, so we got three Bilbo, that's another Dwalin, Dwalin, Fimble the Hunter, Fimble the Hunter, my favorite. We got the Bowman, we got the Orc Bowman. Uh, that's the Orc Swordsman. We'll take a better look, I promise, at the end of all this. I'm just getting a little idea of what we got going on here. And then we got that, we got another Thorin right here. We got Gandalf, we got Thorin. That's the Orc Swordsman. Another Gandalf. Fimble, where's Fimble? There's Fimble and the Bowman. All right, so if I do this like so, all right, I right, like that, right? Right in the view. Uh, so we got there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight characters, eight characters all together, at least in this box. And I had three Gandalf, three Bilbo, six, three of the Goblin, nine. Three Thorin, so that's 9, 10, and 12. 13, 14, 15, 3 Dwalin. I lost track already. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15. Okay, so we got 15. 18, we got 3 Fimble. 
20 with the two orcs. So 23. There was 23 figures and three orc swordsmen. There was probably a 24th that I lost along the way because I did take these out to count. So, um... I guess there's actually a perfect seed rate in all of this. Out of 24 figures, there's three of each in the entire box. I don't know if anybody's done this math or this video, but uh, in case you are ever in the market for uh, The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey Hero Clicks figures, uh, there are eight characters, and there's probably three of each of those characters in the entire box. Um, so that's that's that. Yeah. This is definitely uh, a fun and interesting video. Uh, like I said, I will probably never do anything quite like this again. I don't think they made a series two or three to this. I don't think they kept up with the movies. But uh, yeah, that's going to end it for today's video. If you like what you saw, please remember to like, subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you thought about the movies, the Hobbit movies. Do you like the book or the movies better? Have you read the book before? Just let me know down in the comments below. Share this video with a friend. It really helps, and I appreciate it so very much. With that, though, I'm going to sign off for the rest of the day, night, whenever it is you're watching this video. I just hope you have a great rest of your time, all right? Bye, guys. See you next time. Hi, guys. So I'm only now realizing I didn't do any kind of show and tell at the end of the video, so I thought I'd just put this on as a little tail end thing. Um, not a card, but just to show, like... I just hung this poster up recently. Uh, I bought it when the first Hobbit movie came out. It's just a little map of, like, Middle Earth and everything that came out with it. I thought it was awesome. I loved having it, like, on my wall in my uh, old bedroom. But I finally put it in my office, I think, like, a week or two ago. And I thought it was just really fitting to do this. Is like a little just tail end. This is the show and tell. Instead of a Pokemon card, I just show this poster I have that I got. Because, you know, like I said... The movies aren't perfect. There's a lot that could have been done that would have been better or a lot that wasn't needed, but they still have a special place in my heart. Um, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, day, or whatever time it is you're watching this video. Bye, guys.